Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at 23rd day of August Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is 2 sum 4 and input as BST. So this is another binary tree problem where we have to return true or false if we can have two values which sums up to k. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is a given example given the problem statement where the input is a binary tree and the k is 9. So we have to find any two elements or nodes whose value sums up to 9. If that is the case then we have to return true. If not we have to return false. So also there are few conditions that can be taken care of that is we have to exactly find two elements. If suppose three or four elements sums up to 9 that should not be the case that returns true. It is a false case. Also, if there is one single element whose value is 9 and if we find such element that we don't need one more element to add up the sum, that also is a false case. Only if two elements comes up to k, that, that is the uh, true case. So now we have seen enough BSD problems before and we know how to solve it or do a basic traversal from our channel. So as usual, we are going to use a DFS technique to traverse the given BSD and a recursive DFS comes in handy to traverse the tree efficiently. So here again we are going to use a basic uh, recursive traversal where we pass the root of the node and how are we going to find whether uh, two elements sums up to k. So in this case as usual we pass the tree and the k value and find whether two elements sums up to k using the very similar technique we used in two sum problem. So if we have a value for say 5 and what is the rest of the value we need which is 9 minus 5. So 9 minus if we find 9 minus 5 in rest of the tree which means there are two elements existing that sums up to 9. So 9 minus 5 is 4 we are looking for one more 4 in this tree. So there exists a 4 here which means 5 plus 4 sums up to 9 and that actually 5 and 4 sums up to give us k. So this is what we have used in two some problem. We are again going to implement the same technique here. Once we find a node for say 5 as the root node value, then we are going to look for k minus 5. So once we find k minus 5 in rest of the tree, which means we have found our pair that sums up to k, then we are going to return true. So how are we going to find the next value that th that is required that is the k minus current root value so once we are at a particular root node and we have to find the other node we don't have to perform again a traversal for each and every node instead we are going to maintain a data structure that stores every value we have already visited in this case we are going to use or get the help of a set which is going to store the values of each node once we traverse it. So first node is going to be 5. So it is going to look for 5 minus 9. Sorry 9 minus 5. 4 is not already there in the set which means we did not come across a 4 yet. So next node is going to be 3. So 9 minus 3 is 6. 6 is also not yet in the set. Then the next value is 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. 7 is also not there in the set. So the next it is going to traverse is 4. So it is going to check whether 9 minus 4 is present in the set already. Yes, 9, 9 minus 4 is 5 which is already present in the set which means it has its corresponding pair that sums up to 9. So in, in this stage itself our algorithm returns true and that is going to be our output. So hope you are understanding this solution. It is going to perform a basic BFS and the code is also going to do a basic DFS along with a fast value that is our set which we use to store the values of traversed nodes. So since this is a simple DFS problem, it is going to take big O of n time complexity and space complexity. So let's go to the code now. So as I said, we are going to get the help of a hash set to store the values. And we are going to simply call a DFS that pass the root of the binary tree and the set and the k value. So now let's spend some time in writing our DFS method. 
So first, as usual, let's call uh, the DFS to traverse the tree, both left and right subtrees. So now we are going to check the condition if the root node we traverse is having its pair. If the pair exists, then in that case we are going to simply return true. And if not, we are going to add the currently traversed root value to our uh, set. So now this is going to return true if the value is there. If not, if the complete tree is traversed and there is no pair exists, then in that case, if it reaches the null values, then it is going to return false. And finally, This method is going to return if left or right because if at either of the side the other value is present then it is going to return true. So yes this is it let's run and try. Yes so let's submit. So yes the solution is accepted and runs in 3 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.